Good morning, everybody. I just had to make this video. Me and Little Jack and Grandma, my mom, we decided to take a trip to the Pensacola Naval Air Station Air Museum, and I thought, what a great video to make. Everybody has been asking me about it. It's been closed for a long time, and if you've never been there, it's something you definitely need to check out. So let's talk about it. Let's do a review. Let's talk about the Pensacola Naval Air Museum. It had been closed for a while between the shooting that happened on base and the cough cough uh it's no, we haven't been able to get on the like most people have not been able to go to the museum as a dod retiree i still had access to go my family had access to go but the average veteran slash person from out of town visitors has not been able to go used to you could go in through the front gate and they would allow you to just turn right into the museum because it's right there by where the Blue Angels take off and practice. Uh, there's kind of a, there has been a security concern on how the base should operate with that. And I guess they've figured it out and they're letting people go now. If you go in through the front gate right there, you can cruise right on in to the museum. It's a pretty big parking lot and there's also a place in the back for those that want to go watch the Blue Angels practice. You can go and sit in the bleachers, watch them take off, watch them land, watch them do the whole thing and it's pretty cool because they have the radio playing and you can listen to them talk to each other. It's pretty cool. What do you think Jack Jack? We're at the Naval Museum. <laughs> so if you're just looking for an adventure on a summer day or you're here on vacation and you're trying to check out someplace cool this is definitely the spot let's cruise on in and see what's going on so of course little jack cruised on in and his little blinking sandals because he goes in in style and he decided to cut across what you would think is an aircraft carrier deck because that's what it's made for it looks just like an aircraft carrier deck and you cruise on in and you see all the awesome airplanes i mean there's everything under the sun from the beginning of flight all the way to modern day F-18s, etc. You get to see everything from World War I, World War II, Vietnam. You get to see helicopter stuff. You get to see space shuttle stuff. And then if you go up on the top area, you can basically like walk through time. There's like a whole walking museum of what things looked like in the 40s and the 50s. And it's pretty cool you're really gonna need a couple three days to see it all because it's a pretty big museum i don't know if you've ever been to the infantry museum at fort benning this one's just like it i had a real hard time keeping little jack from running underneath all the airplanes but we got it sorted out he really had just as much fun climbing the steps and the park benches or the benches then he did uh, actually looking at the planes but he's one and a half so He'll grow into it. Fun story, my grandma used to take me there when I was little and I remember spending tons of time just walking through all the aircraft, seeing the cool things there were to see and really dreaming about being in the Navy one day and that's kind of what it's there for. Uh, all the Blue Angels stuff is up in there and you can see it hanging from the ceiling and uh, I think there's a little movie theater in there and I think there's an actual place to get some food which makes it all pretty cool. There's a lot of veterans working the door and, and doing door greetings. And it's got a little something for everything. And I highly recommend it. If you're in town and you're wanting to check this place out, put it on, put it on the list. Another one I would do is the lighthouse, which is really cool. And if you can get in the lighthouse while the Blue Angels are practicing, <laughs> that would be pretty cool because they'll go right by the, uh, the lighthouse. So. I hope this put it all into perspective. There's a lot going on. Uh, it is a blink in, in time and you get to see uh, the, the things that we take for granted, like the fuel injection being created for an airplane to go upside down in a dogfight. Because prior to that, they had gravity fed carburetors and it would sputter out. Thought it was kind of cool. Or the interrupter. Uh, uh, gear to allow a machine gun to shoot through a, a planes prop. So cool how they got all this stuff, you know, in the history books. And you can go check it out for real, for free. That's kind of cool. So, all right, comment down below. And if you happen to be looking for real estate or you happen to buy or sell on the Gulf Coast, have to be a real estate agent, email is down below. And uh, let me know if you need anything. 
and comment down below if you've been to the museum and if you liked it because we're all here to learn from each other see you guys in the next video what'd you think little jack did you have fun he did he they did. gave him a set of wings but he ripped them off he told him he's gonna have an application in annapolis in a few years and they're right jack jack probably when he's 12 gotta start early yeah it's gotta start reading early